So, um, test, obviously, you get your vocab words. I put them in a box so they're easier to identify what are the vocab words. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, now, up, up here on the board, as you guys are working, I'm gonna have this PowerPoint going. It has the four formulas in front of you, so if you're in the background and you can't see it, I put them up here, hopefully it's big enough for you. Um, when it gets to the pictures, the pictures like on number two and question number three, they're also going to be up here. They're going to rotate. It goes every few seconds. Um, they're in front of you. You can look up and see the formulas. But some people like want to see what the picture looks like. They didn't quite get the picture, so it rotates every few seconds. I thought that was easier for you to see if you can't understand what you're looking at. Um, especially in like that one, seeing that the line L pokes through the paper on question number two. You can see it went dashed. So it'll come back. All right. Uh, but number one, the vocab words, you can use a word more than once. That's always an option. I've always kind of warned you of that. You will not be using every word. Obviously, there's, I think, more words than blanks there. I, I want you to write the words in those blank spots of the vocab. Okay, don't do some weird letter system or number system. Don't do the weird spaghetti lines everywhere. Just write the words down and spell them correctly. The words are literally type in your test. Number two, answer the questions for that picture. Obviously, the picture is up here, so you can see it if you can't really get what you're looking at there. It shows up here every few seconds, every two or three seconds. Um, if you flip the page. Number three, you're telling me the length of, I believe, the goldfish. I know it's in between a hash mark. Just pick one of the hash marks that you think it's closest to, okay? Um, I showed you hints and tips for how to do that yesterday. Uh, what are we on? Number four, um, you have to draw the picture, the lines, label, figure out, you know, A and B or whatever those letters are. Um, there's two separate problems in number four. Make sure you're doing each one separately. They can be decimals. Uh, make sure you're finding both parts in number four. Um, five, you're finding the distance on a number line. So the distance between your points. The formulas are on the board in front of you. They're literally on the PowerPoint. You saw them flash up by a little bit ago. Um, six, you're finding the distance on the coordinate plane in number six. It's up there. Formula's there. Or it's up here on the... PowerPoint if you want to look at PowerPoint. Uh, seven, seven, um, I put two graphs there. You're finding midpoint. Uh, the reason I put two there uh, is because on the practice guide we had two problems at number seven. So I kept it the same number of questions. So you have to find two midpoints. Midpoint from is up here. It's literally doing the same as the number line. You're just doing it for both X and Y. Um, eight, you're answering the questions for that crazy drawing. You always have every option, if you like, to add more letters and numbers to that drawing. And just if you can display to me that you understand what you're talking about, you put extra numbers and letters on that picture number eight, I'm totally fine with you doing that. Okay? Nine, do not assume number nine is perpendicular. Do not assume that it's perpendicular number nine. Okay? It may not be. It's not drawn to scale. It may be there may be a tell it's not a perfect T intersection. Okay? Um, your hint at number nine is linear pair. So if you know what a linear pair is, that might help you solve for X and Y. Okay? If you don't know that, you didn't say real cat words very well. All right. The rest of the time is yours. Um, cell phones on the caddy if you haven't already. Smart watches, if you have one, take it off, go put it in the caddy so it doesn't go off accident because I know how smart watches work. Um, and you have the rest of the time. It has to be done in one period. Um, if you don't finish, you have to finish it today, like today. You don't get to do it for multiple days. It has to be done today. So, the rest of the time is yours. If you have questions, you can ask. Ten minutes. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're showing work. Yeah, so always show work. The vocab, remember, pick the best word. Not just the first word that kind of looks like the definition, the best word that fits. Get it. Yeah, just get it. There. No worries.